Hi guys, uh, the Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, I hope that you're well. In this video, I want to just kind of tease you a little bit in terms of identity. Now, in the comments box, please put your thoughts down, your understanding of this thing called identity. Now, why is identity so important? Let me tell you what I think it means. Identity is this thing or this value, this belief, this ritual that you resonate with. It becomes part of you. It might even be you. You see, when you speak to people, if you listen carefully to what they say, they will use phrases when you're talking about something that's exciting or something that is sad, that something that makes them sad or challenging or difficult, rewarding, you know, all these kind of things that we can talk about. When they resonate they will say things like I can identify with that and what that means is your experience is very very similar to their experience and because there's a match in these experiences there's some form of identification that takes place as if now all of a sudden you're speaking the same language because of identity and identification. I don't want to particularly go into how psychologists see identification, but they have a particular way of classifying people according to their definition of identity. Psychiatrists, again, not far away from psychologists but they use it for their purposes identity when you talk about emotional states identity it's it's a frequently used idea maybe not necessarily spoken as much but spoken about quite a lot in your emotional circles, you can identify because it resonates. When it comes down to work ethics, political orientation and conviction, there's a identity that takes place. But I want to leave you with these couple of thoughts. Identity is the values and the beliefs, the traditions that you yourself accept to be true and how that becomes a lifestyle. It becomes a language style. It becomes a thought pattern style that says to the rest of the world, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I believe in. This is what I identify with when it comes down to the issues in the world so what I'm really saying here is if you want to stand out in terms of your identity you need to have a clear understanding of who you are as a person you need to be able to resonate with the things that you yourself believe in the things that you value values the things that you hold dear your morals your traditions your ideals your goals these really really important components that make you you in order for you to resonate with you effectively so consider the following. If your beliefs about you 
are not as good as they could be. Now, what is a belief? A belief is like a conviction. It's, it's a guide. I spoke about this in a video uh, not too very long ago, in fact. So my belief about me, let's say for argument's sake, is whatever it is. I will not be able to move beyond that point. So I won't be able to identify with it. I will be in foreign land, so to speak. So what you really need to do, if I may offer a suggestion, is this. Define your beliefs. Work out why they are there. What they are. What do they actually do that serves you so well? And in the event that you find out that certain beliefs don't serve you, get rid. Upgrade. Change. Whatever is necessary to get to a belief about you. Till it resonates. The same, it's like the same frequency. Otherwise, it's just a loud noise and it's a mess. Find out. My friend, the same will apply for morals and traditions and goals and ideals and work ethics, political, social, economical, spiritual, all these components that make you use a bit like an orange it's one orange but if you break it up you get loads of those little segments so find out why you are here what is the thing that drives you what do you identify with In the event that you find something that you identify with. You will ooze it. I believe it was Mark Twain that said something like this. There are only two incredibly important days in a person's life. The first day is the day they were born. The second day is the reasons why they were born. Now, my friend, identity is a big thing. I'm not going to say that it's going to take you a day or two to work out what you identify with. I firmly believe that you already identify with loads of things. I don't believe that you can exist without having some form of identity that generates this motivation to go and do things. But find out why they do these things for you. Do you identify with the motivation, the intention? Or are you just a busybody that does things because it's easy to go with the flow? Sometimes you need to be against the flow in order to stand out because you don't identify with the flow. That's all I want to say in this particular video. Identity is crucial. To things like self-esteem, self-worth, all the self-stuff, as I say. Maybe there's a bit of soul-searching that needs to take place when it comes down to the self-issues in your life. In order for you to identify with something better, greater, more worthy, Something that brings honor and pride, satisfaction, fulfillment, all these things to you as an individual.
but it starts with understanding the reasons why you were born in the first place and looking at those components that says right i'm going to deal with this one first i reckon it's a hard job but i will also say it's a worthwhile job if you want to feel kind of flippy floppy and as someone would say woo woo in the world then just go with the flow be a sheeple as i mentioned in another video but i would strongly suggest that you stand up for yourself be counted identify with who you truly are and who you truly are meant to be that's it I hope this video has caused you to think about who you are and why you are here what do you identify with why what can you do about it if you don't? That's it. Easy. At least for me making this particular video. Not so easy in being totally honest and saying, hmm, maybe I need to change a couple of things because they don't fit right. Because your identification might be not in sync with your beliefs or values those kind of things like I said before so there you go my friend I hope this has challenged you and given you something to think and ponder about please like and share and subscribe and tell all your friends and family to do so because this is the kind of stuff that we talk about the nitty gritty real stuff for now this is Mark from Callis Changeworks and I'll speak to you soon